and then they will repel each other. But first, the induction part, whereby you will see the balloon come to the glass rod. These experiments work best when it is dry in the winter. They don't work so well when it is humid. So it's a good time to teach 802 in the winter. Okay, there we go. This should be positively charged now. And the balloon wants to come to the glass. You see that very clearly? Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, so now I will try to get this balloon charged a little. So there is a change of electrons that go from the balloon to the glass. And the glass doesn't... It's not a conductor itself, so it is not always so easy to get charge exchanges. Okay, let's see whether I have succeeded now in making the balloon positively charged as well as the glass rod. If that's the case, then the balloon is not going to like me. The balloon will now be repelled, and you see that very clearly. To show you now that there are indeed two different kinds of electricity, if I now rub with cat fur, by tradition we do that with cat fur, I don't know why, by tradition we use silk for the glass. So if we do this with cat fur now, then this becomes negatively charged. Remember, there were two types of electricity, and since that balloon is positively charged, now the balloon will come to me. And there it is. Now it comes to me. So you've seen for the first time now clearly that there are two different kinds of electricity. The positive charge is chosen by Franklin on the glass rod and the negative charge on the rubber. <laughs>